Hi, you guys. Um, I hope and I pray that everyone is doing really well. Um, I hope and pray that everybody is really staying consistent and getting in God's presence and just hearing what God got to say for yourself. I pray that everybody is finding the place of peace for themselves within God. You know, in spite of the circumstances, I pray that people are really, really seeking God like never before in the times that we in and just not now, but just period in life. Just being able to seek God for everything and really get still and really get quiet to understand what God needs you to do in that moment. So I wanted to do this quick little video. And this video, um, I was inspired to kind of do this because, and a lot of people probably saw this. I saw a clip of, I think it was Fix My Life. And, um... I think it was a clip of the six daughters and the mother. And it was a comment and something that was said in the video by Ivana. And she said to the mother and the six daughters, in the midst of it being so chaotic and they was fighting and they was arguing with each other and they just, it was, it was just all over. So in the midst of all the chaos, um, Ivana said to the daughters and the mother, she said, don't give up five minutes before the miracle. And her exact words was, weeping may endure, but don't give up five minutes before the miracle. And when I say that, for her to say that, that was so powerful because she said, weeping may endure, weeping may come, but don't give up five minutes before the miracle. And what she was saying is that you're going to have moments where you weep and cry. You're going to have moments where you are overwhelmed. You're going to have moments where all you can do is fall to your knees and cry out to God because everything you may be going through or the experiences you may be having at the moment or period in life. And what she was saying was that even though weeping may come at any moment, God is ready to step in the midst of it all and give you a miracle in the situation that you're going through. And to me, that was powerful because a lot of times when we go through weeping or we go through transitions and seasons where we weep in a lot right the first thing we'll do is throw in the towel the first thing we do is say i give up i'm not gonna do this no more but for her to say those powerful words was weeping will come weeping will endure we're gonna weep we're gonna cry but don't give up five minutes before the miracle. Because at any moment, God is ready to say, I'm ready to step in the midst of this and give all of y'all a miracle. And so a lot of people don't, it, it was powerful because the depths of understanding that we gonna weep, we gonna cry, we gonna go through transitions, we gonna go through things where we hurt, we wounded, we don't understand it. It's going to be times where we can't share with anybody, but it's going to be those times where we just got to go to God and fall to our knees and cry out for help to God. And in the midst of that, you don't know when God is going to send a miracle. You see what I'm saying? And when she said that, it, it just impacted me so much that I wanted to do this video and just encourage you guys to understand that weeping may come. But don't give up five minutes before the miracle happens. Don't throw in the towel five minutes before the miracle happens. And when I say five minutes before the miracle happens, what I mean is your weeping, your tears will come. But don't throw in the towel. Don't give up five minutes before your miracle comes. That means your miracle could come an hour after you've weeped. That means... Your miracle could come two months after you've been weeping for a situation. You know what I'm saying? Your five minutes 
is based totally upon when God steps in the midst of that situation and give you a whole miracle. Those are your five minutes. Your five minutes could be one month. Your five minutes could be two months. Your five minutes could be two weeks later. Whatever God is choosing to do in that moment, it's a miracle coming. But the purpose of it is to understand that it's okay to weep. It's okay to cry. It's okay to fall to your knees and only ask God to help you. It's okay, it's okay to just cry it all out. It's okay when all you can do is hold yourself and cry. All of that is okay because in the midst of that, God said, I don't want you to throw in the towel or give up right before the miracle comes that I'm going to give you. So if I'm allowing you to weep, I'm allowing you to weep because I need you to sow your tears and prayers. I need you to sow your tears as seeds of faith to know that any moment, any second, any minute now, I'm going to come through for a miracle with you. I'm going to give you a miracle in the midst of your situation. So God is showing us and elevating us that, yes, this is a season where a lot of people may be weeping right now. I don't know. I can only go by what God shows me and I can only go by personal experience too for myself. But I do believe that a lot of people are in a season or a transition transition of doing a lot of weeping and sometimes when you weeping some people may just wake up out of their sleep crying and upset some people may just be going through their day emotional and crying and weeping and you may not be able to pinpoint why you weeping you may you may not be able to identify what is triggering or causing you to weep like that but what God is saying is that I don't need you to worry about the cause and the effect of it what I need you to do is understand that your weeping is you sowing your seeds your weeping is you sowing your prayers to me when you weep i need you to understand what god is saying is that in your weeping that's when i'm comforting you that's when i'm holding you that's when i'm letting you know that i'm with you and you don't have to worry about it because in a minute i'm gonna give you a miracle but i need you not to throw in the towel i need you not to give up and i don't need you to just lay down and take it what i need you to do is understand that yes, you're going to weep. Yes, it's going to be painful. Yes, you may not understand why you weep in the way you're weeping. But what God wants us to understand is that weeping will come in all of us. But please don't give up five minutes before the miracle. I don't know the time frame of everybody's miracles to come. But I do believe this with all my heart, that in the midst of all of our weeping, God is preparing a miracle for all of us. In the midst of all of our tears that we sowing, in the midst of all of our prayers that we praying, God is preparing a miracle for us. And we don't know when that miracle going to come. We don't know if it's going to come four months later or a year later or two years later, but I don't care no matter how long it takes for that miracle to come. You keep praying. You keep weeping. You keep calling on God. You keep crying out. And if all you can do is fall to your knees and just weep and cry and call out to God or call out to the Holy Spirit or call out to the Father God, whatever it is for you, Understand that your miracle is coming and nobody can tell you when. But God knows the time, the season, and the moment when God going to step right in that situation. And God is going to say, see, I told you. You had to weep. But I needed you to weep because I needed you to understand that in your weakness is where I'm strong in you. In your weakness is where you find your strength in me, God. So my encouragement to everybody out there is that if you're going through a season or a transition where you find yourself weeping and crying a lot, understand that weeping may come, but don't give up five minutes before the miracle. And only God knows when your five minutes is going to be in the midst of that miracle. So I encourage everybody to keep praying, keep falling to your knees and crying out to God. Keep allowing yourself, even if you don't understand why you're weeping, 
and you can't identify it, just sit with those emotions. You know what I'm saying? Like if you find yourself just crying throughout the day, you don't have to explain it to anybody. You don't have to make nobody try to understand it. All you have to do is sit with those emotions and those feelings and give yourself permission to feel whatever you feel. If you feel sad, give yourself permission to feel that sadness and weep for it. If you hurt, give yourself permission to feel all of that hurt and weep. But my encouragement to you is to sit in all of those emotions that you feel. And that means if you have to weep, you weep until you see the miracle of what God going to do in you and through you and in your life. And that's the purpose of weeping may come, but don't give up right before the miracle. And so I love you guys. I hope and I pray that you guys continue to have a blessed week. And I just encourage y'all once again to always remember this. That weeping is you finding your strength in God and not in yourself or your ego no more. When you weep and you cry, that means that you are willing to humble yourself in God now enough to allow God to take control of the situation rather than you controlling it. When we weep, that means we are willing and we are surrendering to God. And weeping don't necessarily mean you surrender. To surrender means you are willing to give it all to God. You are willing to commit that whole situation into God's hands and leave it there because it's nothing I can do anymore. So I encourage everybody to understand that if you're going through a transition of weeping, if you're going through a transition where you find yourself emotional and crying a lot and you can't really identify those emotions and why, don't try to. Just sit with whatever you're feeling, whatever emotions you're feeling, sit in it. Be with those emotions. Be with those feelings. And if it means you got to weep, weep. Because I guarantee you this, the whole time you're weeping, God is saying to you the whole time, I'm here. I'm right here for you. I'm right here. So we have to understand that sometimes when we go through seasons of weeping, we sometimes feel alone like nobody understands. And I think to me, in my opinion, when God allows us to have seasons like that, it's because God wants our total trust and our total faith to be in him and not people. It's because God wants us to rely totally upon his strength and not our own. It's because God wants to destroy the ego and the arrogance of who we are as human beings sometimes and bring us to a place of humbling ourselves before him so that he can give us his strength to move through circumstances in life. So I love you guys. You be blessed.